<laughs> Damn, dude, this is high. <laughs> I think I got one. Wait, let's pull in here. Welcome to day two of our great ocean road, Roadie. It is a <laughs> banger as well. Sunny day. I feel there's something about the sunny weather, being on the beach. Yeah. It's a special day. It's so, good vibes. So we're starting off, we're in Apollo Bay now, which is where we slept last night. And today we've got heaps more epicness to tick off for what's probably going to be like day two of about four yeah. over this trip. So it looks like Apollo Bay is pretty well set up. It's probably like the second biggest town we've seen since Lawn. Yeah, um, I reckon. And Maybe not as cool as no, I want to say that. I feel that. like Lawn has a bit more of a vibe going on. But I have to say that drive from Lawn down to Apollo Bay yesterday, oh my gosh, that stretch is definitely the favorite so far. Like I know yeah. I've never traveled that far, but still, it was stunning. Um, anyway, got our coffees. Next stop is breakfast. So we found this cafe, it's called Raw. We saw the sign, feeling hungry, acai bowls. And then we've come in, it's not just one. There's this whole menu of smoothies and that says that you can what, turn any smoothie into a smoothie bowl with uh, granola and stuff. So that is like, if you've been following us for a while, you know, whenever it's summery and we can get that smoothie bowl, we love it. Tropical fruit, I'm about it. Ah, closing my foot. We got the goods. Uh, <laughs> chips, beer, and pasta, basically. Thanks, beautiful. So we need some provisions because even though day one was very much, very much coastal, yeah. Today we're going inland, inland, sort of up through more of the. It's the Owe National Park. Yeah, it's the national park. There's a lot of like redwood trees and everything, so it's going to be beautiful. But yeah, we're doing a bit of a semicircle, and we're going to end up at Glen Eyre Cottages, which is a little bit remote, which is why. We got the supplies. It looks like a really nice spot though with a sauna and a, a, um, hot a hot tub, tub as well. Oh. So at the end we'll check in there. Um, but for now, we're gonna hit the road. We're gonna get to our first stop. This is popular. She's busy. <laughs> this is the Kennet River Koala Walk and it is one of the best places in all of Australia to see wild koalas in their natural habitat. Hence a million people being around and a few tour buses and stuff. This is the busiest spot on the whole trip that we Absolutely. have seen of like, I've never a, seen, I haven't seen, stop. Yeah, haven't seen this many people in ages. Um, so because there are so many people at the start, we're thinking, we did some reading online, we're thinking we're going to head further up the road, past a couple of the switchbacks and hopefully see some little koalas up in the trees. So apparently most of the people only walk the first 200 meters, which actually makes sense because there's the last couple that I can see here. Because that's because the tour, the tour buses come and they stop and everybody wanders. But if you've got the car, you can drive up to now what looks like a dirt road. A dirt road. And then it, this is apparently when you're going to get most of the, of the sightings. I, th I think we're going to spend the next like 10 or 15 minutes like this. <laughs> we're going to get sore next. I'm supposed to be watching the road. You watch the road, I'll watch for the koalas. <laughs> I wish they made bright yellow koalas or something. Cause like you'd be able to tell the colour. Well no, that's why Jade's I need it. Um, I've got great vision, but I this is just too similar with eucalyptus trees and yeah. the koala colour. Very hard to spot. Green and grey is a tough one for you. No, keep yeah, going. Keep going. Okay. Not exactly going to plan, is it? <laughs> I don't think I'd have to like get out and properly look. Okay, what? He's miles away. He's miles away, so it's hard to find. But I, <laughs> I think I got one. Wait, let's pull in here. I think I found one. Oh my god. He's oh my god. so camo. Or she. Or she. Yeah, just that. Okay, let's go look. Look at the view, by the way. Look at that. Stunner. Okay. Come down here. So look. Up in there. 
<laughs> Koala! Wait, let's zoom so I can see if we can get a better view of it. I've lost it. Super camo. G'day, buddy. Well, we've had a bit of change of scenery. <laughs> so we're off the, the big main roads now and on these tiny little 40 kilometers an hour, very thin in terms of the lane. And you can see oh, that's been like roped off and every cordoned off there as well. So it's supposed to be 18 to 20 kilometers on this road to get to the Hopeton Falls. I think it's gonna take a little bit longer than Maps is telling us based purely on how tight and small these are like this is if another car come we've only come across one and we both had to like slow right down but i mean just the fact that you've got the coast there and then you can come away into this like beach forest with these incredibly large trees uh you got that <sighs> you know <laughs> you know what i mean the smells are different the driving's different the feeling is all different it's, it's great. And then we're going for a big uh, treetop walk as well, which I think is going to be real fun. It's pretty muddy. She's aggressive. Wow. That is a lot of water. That is loud. That's a whole lot of power. What do we know about Hopton Falls? What do we know, babe? You tell me. It's 30 meters high. Uh, it flows into the, it's either the Air or the Airy River. And this river has loads of different animals, but the most exciting one to us is the platypus. I've never seen a platy just yeah. hanging out in the wild. You can actually do a tour nearby somewhere. I was reading about it. You can get in a kayak and actually like go looking for them. Wicked. Wicked. There she is. Wanna do another zip line? Hot way. No, I think I'll just stick with the treetop walk today, eh? <laughs> I think we should grab some lunch while we're here too. Oh, yeah, that's true. There's not many uh, food options around no. here, I'm sure. Seems like the kitchen closes at three and we managed to get here. Was it 20 past? Quarter past Quarter two. Past. So we've got, and then the last walk out onto the treetops is... 3.30. 3.30. So we were cutting it a little bit fine, but we made it. Yes, and... Some drinks. Cheers, beautiful. Cheers. Mmm. Oh, that's Lovely. nice. It's pretty big. Mm. Oh, there's loads of towers. Yeah, that one in the middle. That's it's a 47 meter tall spiral tower. Anything else that you want to share <laughs> while you're standing there reading notes? <laughs> the rainforest and treetop walk is 1.9 kilometers and takes approximately one hour to complete. Oh, it's okay, so the walkway itself is elevated 25 to 30 meters off the ground. Um, there's a shuttle service? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, the, those, those two? Huh? Those two? <laughs> <That's horrible. laughs> and, and those two. <laughs> It's pretty impressive when you look just how far down that is and how tall these trees are. Crazy. This is this is real stable though, isn't it? This oh, is a, yeah, it doesn't swim. This like isn't a cables. Lot of ones we've done. Yeah, no, it's this nice is, and sturdy. This is firm. This is a this is a legit walkway. <laughs> I've never felt so tall in my life. <laughs> <laughs> I can see in the distance the first spiral staircase too. Oh. Damn, dude, this is high. <laughs> Check that. We're high enough over the walkway, let alone 
like the floor. The the, yeah. That is a seriously impressive walk. That hey. was beautiful and I feel like it probably won't come across on camera just how small it makes you feel and how huge the trees are. Yeah. They just go up, they just shoot up straight. They're all just so just straight up. A lot more green, a lot more bright. It feels a lot more like we're really in nature yeah, walking around kinda, there. With the ferns and everything, kind of reminds us a little bit of home as yeah, well. Yeah, it does that. It's quite nice. There it is. I'm excited. So peaceful out here. It's quiet. Oh, it's relaxing already. So there's a few different cottages, but we're staying in the top house. Oh, that's the sauna? Yeah, that's the sauna. It's got like a glass bubble on the front. You can actually look out onto the view. Spa? Oh, that is magical. Unbelievable. I've instantly seen legit coffee machine there in Grinder. <laughs> wow. That's real beautiful. Fire all set up, Bluetooth speaker, barbecue out there. Yeah, this is the cabin life, isn't it? This is proper cabin living with modern luxuries, I should say. <laughs> There's a massive TV. <laughs> Let's go find our bedroom. There's two bedrooms, isn't it? Yeah, two bedroom. This looks like it's the master. Oh, three! Oh, nice. This feels like the perfect escape away from the busyness of the, even just from the driving and stuff, or from the coastal towns, but also from the CBD. Yeah, what? Sorry, I, was I, feel too, I feel too loud. But yeah, what, what a change in scenery. We thought we'd come down and have a look at the, uh, the sauna anyway. Oh, that is amazing. We probably shouldn't go in while we've got, got our shoes on. But that is amazing with the dome like that. That looks like a painting. It does. Look at like that. That, that, that. That was a painting on a wall, you'd, you'd believe it. <laughs> That's not really it. What a way to finish the day. Oh, <laughs> these spas are even better when it's freezing cold outside. Hence the beanies, of course. <laughs> but I've got my favourite Aussie beer, Stone and Wood. My favourite Kiwi Girl. Aww. And my favourite view. 